expectation that you're sitting on a plane and the guy next to you say, so what do you do for a living? And I say, well, I look for aliens. In fact, you know, I explain a little bit, almost everyone is interested. Nobody says, oh, well, that's nice. I'll go back to my magazine now. In the desert, 250 miles north of San Francisco, Dr. Seth Shostak is waiting for a message from an alien. This is SETI, the front line in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. If a message ever comes our way, this is where it will be received. Anybody who can build a transmitter can send messages between the stars. Well, if we can do that, maybe they can do it. So here we are, the Allen Telescope Array. It's designed to do one thing, and that is to eavesdrop on any signals that might be being broadcast our way by some alien civilization. This vast array of telescopes is the latest in a long line of experiments designed to eavesdrop on our nearest neighbors. As chief astronomer of the project, Shostak is more confident than most that he'll be on the receiving end of a close encounter. There are 42 antennas out here now, you can know, count them up, right? But eventually the idea is to have 350. And when it's built out to 350, this thing will be able to scan big chunks of the sky, simultaneously observing five, six, maybe more stars at a time, looking for that signal that would tell us that, you know, somebody's out there trying to get our attention. 